Now, today, we're gonna show you how to create this little device right here, which will allow you to connect your DJI Osmo Mobile to your existing tripod instead of buying the DJI tripod and the DJI extension rod that will cost you at the minimum $110. These parts only cost a few bucks at any hardware store. How do you build it? Well, let me show you. There are seven pots and you can see the little pots and you can get them at any hardware store and you can see it's it's a special ability it can move around also these are the seven parts in the this thing the washer wing nut coupler nut wing nut compression nut fitting all thread three inches all thread two inches these are the parts in in this so here are the parts you're going to need for this project you're going to need a quarter inch compression fitting right there that that copper piece and you're going to need a three inch all thread which is basically the screw it's just threads okay you're going to need a quarter 20 wing nut right here you're going to need a quarter 20 uh, coupler coupler nut okay quarter 20 coupler nut you're going to need a two inch set screw or a two inch all thread and and then you're going to need this uh, this uh, wing nut here they call this an air cleaner wing nut i believe that's what the guy called it okay and that's that's got about a three quarter inch uh end here which is perfect for what we're for what we're going to do and then you'll also need this little washer here you don't have to have one of these but i find that it locks onto the gimbal better if you have this washer one side of this washer is rubber one side is metal I would have liked to find, uh, and the hole is one quarter inch. I would have liked to find one that was three quarters uh, from edge to edge, but this one's a little less than that. Three quarters would be perfect. Okay, and those are all the parts you're gonna need. And the tools you're gonna need, I'm, I'm, actually I'm sure there are better tools than this, but two pairs of vice grips. One pair, two pairs of vice grips. And that's all you need. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this little invention together and save ourselves $110. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach the compression fitting to our all threads and to our set screw. Okay, the guy at the hardware store actually did this one for me, uh, so I, I can't show you there, but I will show you how it works on the other side. So go ahead and unscrew this here, and you're gonna have this little uh, piece inside here the guy at the store was calling it a, a wedding ring or something like that. Here it is. Okay. So what we got to do is take this screw here, the two inch one, the nut from the end of the compression fitting over it like this, and put the little wedding ring in there. What's going to happen when we tighten this down is that wedding ring is going to get smashed into the threads and it's going to lock this thing in place. Then we're going to put it on here like this on the end. And screw it on. There we go, I'm getting it on there. Okay, see how that works? Okay, so I'm gonna take my vice grips here, pinch it down there. Well, actually, I may not even need the second set of vice grips because I already got this on here. I already have this on here, so I can just twist it. As I twist this, it's gonna smash that little wedding ring down and lock the all thread in. Because the tighter you get it, better it's going to smash those threads down and once you're done with this this thing is going to be on there for good okay there we go so there we have that okay perfect okay now take your wing nut here and put it right onto the um, three inch all thread this way And then take your quarter 20 coupler nut and put it right onto the end of the three inch uh, all thread. Screw it on as far as you want and leave enough room at the bottom to um, go onto your tripod connector, whatever, whatever this thing's called. 
Okay, so here's the device. Pretty much done. Okay, now I'm going to show you how it works. This piece here is what goes on your tripod and what you normally screw your camera into. For this, we're just going to screw this right into um, quarter 20 um, coupler nut. And there you have that now, see? Then take this little washer here and put it onto the end, with the rubber side facing out of the um, two inch uh, set screw. Okay. And there you have your device right there. It's complete. Okay, lastly, we need to take our completed product and we need to attach it to our gimbal. So you're going you're gonna to screw it in right here on the side of the gimbal. And this part is a little bit of a pain. It's not perfect by any means, but um, it's, it's well worth the trouble to do this to save yourself the money. Once you have it on, then you're going to take your, you're going to tighten this wing nut and compress that rubber washer on so that the thing doesn't slide around. There you go. So grab your tripod, take your base, and slide it on like so. Tighten it down and there we have it. Okay, so there we have it, our completed project. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it definitely works and it will save you $110 at the very least.